Hello, welcome hey, hey. to day zero. We've touched down in Geneva. Um, we got, we managed to get the train to the, the main station. Geneva, but then, then, then <laughs> things went a bit wrong because we ran for. We first we couldn't, didn't know which platform we were going to because there's no big overall board. You have to like walk ten minutes to that. Then the big overall board said platform seven, so we ran to platform seven, but there was like all this security and like yeah, probes and stuff. Basically, we got completely lost. We missed the train, and now we've got to wait longer for the next one. So, yeah. yeah. Day zero, we are eating in the airport. We made it! We made it, it took us absolutely forever. Like About 15 hours of travel today. <laughs> many, many hours of traveling. We, we lost a connection, didn't make a connection, then a train was delayed, we eventually made it here. It's raining just about enough to be like not particularly unpleasant. And we're eating dinner, so all things are good. I'm really looking forward to starting the war tomorrow. Got our cold jumbo hot dog sausages. Mm. Perhaps. See you tomorrow, it's going to be brilliant. So, everybody say good morning. This is our Hello. day zero camp spot. Or oh, day one camp spot, my goodness. Yeah, so I had a pretty damn fine night's sleep, plenty of rain, but um, all in. I slept well, no condensation on my tent. ka -ching, my tent best. Um, everyone else is just packing down, we're going to go find a boulangery. Getting a good start to our first day with some beautiful pan chocolates. Oh, we are trekking, we are moving, we've got some big hills in the background. I cannot believe how quickly we made yeah. our way into the hills. Do we have a quick, quick, how is everyone feeling? How is Connor feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I had some bum issues this morning with some, uh, some, some pains, but I've used some of Finn's lube and I'm feeling good. Finn? I'm um, feeling pretty good. No foot pains yet, no uh, bum pain, but I put a bit of uh, goo on there just to stop anything building up anyway. And Erin? I'm feeling good. I had to put a plaster on my heel, but that's about it. So, so we've been doing about two hours of hiking. Uh, we just come out of the forest into this little town, fueled up with some water, and now we're looking to go to another town and then find somewhere to camp. Fueling up at a river. Erin's having a little sit down. First coffee on the GR. Is it good? We're thundering up the mountain, looking for a spot to camp. Hope that the uh, rain manages to hold off. It's been raining all morning, which is why you haven't seen much video. The camera's not waterproof. So this is going to be the location of the day one campsite. We have a massive quarry thing over there. Um, focus. And then we have a nice view of a big mountain, which over there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a time lapse of the setting up, I think. So we're all pitched up. I just had a really nice wash. Finn's inflating his serum rest. I think we all had a wash. Plan is now, it's, uh, it's just gone four o'clock, which is a really nice time to get into our first camp. So we're gonna sit down and listen to some Terry Pratchett. What could be cooking on day one? Da, 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 da. It's noodles! I think Erin's got something else then to do. What are you cooking, Erin? Uncle Ben's rice. Uncle Ben's rice. Let's see if in the setup. Ooh, Look, looks pretty similar noodles. to mine. I can't believe uh, how lovely it's turning out this afternoon. We've had the clouds have been. Uh, Sun's gone away. But yeah, there's even. Look, can you see the line of sunshine over there? It's great. This is some story. Yeah, it's been a good day. Spicing it up. We just added some of Helen's chilies into the. Uh, Pot noodles, they're super tasty, but I'm sure they're going to be even better with these super hot things. How's yours, Erin? It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Tang. That is, that is a lot spicier. That is really tasty. Hey, hey. So it was a good cook up, but now we're umming and ahhing over what we're going to do tomorrow. We can either go to the lake, which is six hours away, which would be an ideal, ideal distance, but... We think that if we go only six hours tomorrow, we might not make Les Huraches in, in time. Yeah, in the six days we have. Which is when I need to get. So we're thinking we might push on to a potential Bothy. So we're going to see 
We're going to be in tune with ourselves, see how we feel when we get to the lake. If the lake is beautiful, then we'll stop there. If the lake isn't 100% beautiful and we're all feeling good, good, we'll go on to the next place. We'll see. It's going to be an exciting day tomorrow. We're going to get up early, push off, and uh, have a long and slow and steady day. Aaron's just wiping the floor with our stretching. (laughs) Apparently we're even less flexible than Mark. Good morning! Welcome to our day two morning, and it is a beautiful morning. The sun is very, very bright. Um, got some food. Got some food, which we're going to have. It's 7 o'clock, 7.10 probably now. Uh, 7.25. Yep, so we're off to we're gonna get a good early start, and it was an interesting night. It was properly, properly heavy rain. Yeah. What did we, how did everyone sleep? Um, I fell asleep. Oh, dear! Oh, yeah. There is a deer in our campsite. Wait, let me try and zoom it. It's running. I think it's gone. Could you see it? There it is, there it is. Oh my god, I'm a wildlife photographer. So, I fell asleep quite quickly at about, probably about 7, 7.30, but then I kind of kept on waking up every two or three hours, uh, and struggling to get back to sleep, but overall slept pretty well, a bit chilly with, in the how, morning. How was the rain, did you find it, Erin? Um, I found it hard to sleep in the rain. Yeah, it gets really loud, yeah. it's like a drum is beating on, on your head. Yeah. Um, I also struggled to fall asleep, but once I fell asleep I didn't wake up until 6, so... That was good, considering we went to bed at 7, because it was so early. Yeah. Right, let's have some breakfast and push off to a good day. Can you see the snow-capped mountain peaking between those two mountains? There's the first proper mountain, things are looking exciting. That is, That looks skiable, I can't wait to get over there. So we've just crossed over to a thousand metres, we've been doing some uh, pretty steep up hilly bits here. We're uh, making good pace though. Wow, feeling really good for that early start. It's only 10 o'clock and we've already put two and a bit hours of walking in, which is fantastic. We've also got this mega, mega view of Lake Geneva, which is super lovely. And just up ahead, there's a uh, what looks like a water trough, so we might get to refuel our bottles, which is always fantastic. Erin's climbing the root ladder. It's steep. Uh-huh. We got to a lovely viewpoint. I will uh, attempt to show you the views, but I don't think you're going to see much on the camera. Uh, well, there's only 30 minutes to the lake, apparently, so we're all looking forward to lunch Maybe and a swim. potentially a swim if it's a nice-looking lake. So, uh, 30 minutes, are we all ready? Yep. Yes. Let's move on. That is the lake. The lake that we were all hoping we were going to get a lovely swim in and a clean, it turns out, is a manky green thing. That is a little bit of a disappointment. Well, although the uh, lake was a little bit of a disappointment, the um, the view is not. I think we're not. That's not the coal we're about to climb up. So we've got an hour to the top of that coal. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to have some lovely honey. What have we got with it, guys? Honey and nuts. Honey and nuts. I'm really, really looking forward to my honey and nuts. I think we've underdone the amount of bread, though. We should have bought two packets of bread because my belly is rumbling. Now this this is a hiker sandwich. We've got uh, honey. A whole bunch of peanuts and a little bit of bread. <laughs> How is it, guys? Yeah. Sweet. It's nice with the nuts. Nice with the nuts. Oh, look at poor Erin's feet. We got strapped up on that side. We got a massive <laughs> strapping on this side and two toes strapped up. She's not in any pain yet. No. It's just preemptive strapping. Yeah. We've made it to the top of the coal, and not only is it busy, but it is windy and lovely. Look at that view. Look at it. Massive, beautiful valley. And we've got another wonderful valley on this side. I think we're going to contour over to another coal over there. But uh, right now, I think we're going to try and snap a great picture for our Instagram, which you should follow, because there'll be daily photos, hopefully, on that. We're descending now down to the valley. Hopefully, we're going to find a refuge. It's nice to be on the uh, final, final bit down before the end of the day. Look, it's nature. Nature. So this is a scary video. Don't be uh, worried, mum and dad. But uh, we arrived at the, what's it called? Refuge. That was potentially a free and unmanned refuge, but I thought it was too good to be true. And it was a proper refuge. Um, it was all a bit cow patty and horrible nearby. So we couldn't really find anywhere to camp. I set off trek, tried to find somewhere to camp, but couldn't find anywhere. We came back down and left Finn and Aaron at the shot at the Jeet because Finn needed the toilet and he's been feeling a little bit off. Finn, what happened then? I vomited projectile, vomited twice. Once I was running to the Jeet's toilet, so it went all over my arms, my shirt, <laughs> splashed onto my glasses, my watch is still covered in it. 
second time I drank some water, thought, oh, feeling a bit better, and then just puked water up. On the so. plus side, while Finn was being horrendously sick, I did find a uh, air de bivouac, which is fantastic. So we're going to have somewhere with shade, and we don't have to worry about not being... I mean, it's not the nicest place to camp, but it's a lot better than everything we found so far. So Finn's going to sit in the shade, we're going to set up camp, and hopefully he's going to be feeling a bit brighter pretty soon.